Okay, so cleaning out our DPF again. And the newer ones have a chemical supposedly on them that if you pressure wash them, it messes it up so they don't work properly. So they say pressure wash is not a good thing no more. So they have that machine that just blows air through it because they found out baking them was no good either because you know they can't figure out what kind of technology they want to use to put on these trucks. But anyway, so I'm not gonna buy one of those machines or you know, over $8,000. Probably for a used one cost you that. So I made my own. Basically what I did was I took an old refrigerant Freon tank, cut the valve off of it, brazed on a one inch pipe, put fittings for the air hose to go in, for the pressure sensor, the relay controls, it's all ran on 12 volts, providing the batteries charged. Comes out of there, plug in the uh, into my air compressor here, and then I'll show you how it works. It works just like the, uh, ones you buy except for it's not cnc controlled it's more of a manual thing um but you know it takes a couple hours to do it but the machine takes a couple hours either too so no matter how you look at it you're going to use a couple hours doing it so i'll hand the phone over there to my camera person start cranking up the pressure on this tank slowly so it gets up to where this triggers it Blowing that carbon out just perfect. Downside is the kick is at a different rate. That and you need a lot of volume to do it. Um, but hey, I didn't spend all that money on that machine. And it still gets the job done. And then if anything, what you don't get out when you put it back in, you're supposed to do a regen anyway, so it'll clean out the rest of it that's not uh doesn't actually get blown out of it.